Okay. Everything about this episode was just bizarre. Beyond bizarre. From the origin story, from Dopio, from the situations he's in, even down to the lead assassin leader, Rosotto. All of it was just freaking weird. But yet I'm highly fascinated. Here you people can understand a little bit more about the head honcho himself, the owner of King Crimson, and his very, very bizarre life that he has had since birth. Like, really, everything about this boss is just mysterious and just shrouded with mystery. Just all of it. Even down to the point where he was born. Think about it. The girl was supposed to be in prison for, like, nearly a decade. She's only there for two years. But yet, she was pregnant. Pregnancies last at least nine months. Nine months tops. She was in there for two years. The fact that he came out after two years, when the father died. Freaking weird. 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 Then, he's taken by a church. He acts like an idiot, but deep down inside, he's a monster. I don't know how he got his mother's body. I don't know how he buried it under the freaking church floor. Like, seriously, that is some good... um architect work he did right there from the free surface of floor like that like what kind of skills you have to do something like that damn and somehow the mom was still being kept alive like her mouth was shut she couldn't move but she was breathing until the fire happened and he supposedly died and now we're up here in the past in the present where he is the boss of passione but he himself don't know it that, that. <laughs> this is weird. This is probably the weirdest villain. The weirdest boss we have had so far in the JoJo series. Dio, he was born from a corrupted family, adopted into the Joe Stars, try to ruin them to get himself fame and fortune. Cars was from an ancient race, wants to be supreme over all beings. Um. Kira just wanted to live in peace while still being a murderer. Now we have the boss of part five, where he wants to be the leader, but yet main reason is he don't want no one knowing who he is. He don't want no one tracking him. Like, this dude is paranoid. The question is, why, though? I understand you're a most feared person, but the fact that you want no trace of you being left unturned it boggles my mind a little. He goes through so much just to keep his footprints covered. And the reason seems kind of not big enough to justify it. No, not at all. And even then, it still makes him a very interesting person. The fact that a dual personality, the best way to hide is a split personality. People will see you as this normal, dumb person, but in reality, you're actually this murderous gang leader on the inside. So, this is, in a way, the perfect hiding spot for someone like him. No one can ever really get suspicious. But then again, it makes you wonder, what's the point of you covering everything up? I don't know. But the thing that also mis gives me a mystery is the aging process. Dopio looks like a young kid. Looks like a teenager. While the actual boss... We don't know his name. Well, Amy Watchers don't know his name. It's a grown ass man. I don't know how that is possible at all. I understand split personalities. That is possible. That is real. Scientific fact. But to change your body, age, and structure like that, it's only in JoJo. Only in the fictional world where this is possible. I've seen Rokes. If anyone has, correct me on that, please. Because, damn. I'm trying to get my thoughts straight here. Because even after reading it and now watching it, it's still like a big what to me. And Dopio seems like a nice dude. He's not smart and he's slow. 
And not only that, he's extremely unlucky. Like, my God, even the kid had more common sense to him. Like, he knows the car was coming. But then again, a lot of kids don't know when a car is coming. They get hit. That's why you have so many accidents, especially here in America. But to have him just start ringing, you hear his ring, like, ding, 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 ding. And he just picks it up. He picks up the doll. Then he picks up the frog. I'm like, yo, you okay in there? You have the broken cell phone. At least pick up the broken cell phone instead. But instead, whoever picks up a doll and a freaking frog. This Nobio. You, you are an interesting character. Definitely interesting. Um, it seems he realizes that the boss lives inside of him. I guess. So I guess it's a very terrible mental illness he has, I guess. That's the only way I can explain it. For my forte, but Risotto, his stand ability is freaking weird as well. Razor blades, how are you alive after having razor blades? You're vomiting razor blades, man. How are you still alive? And then, as you know, needles start coming out of your cheek. His ability, I've guessed it, is something to do with blood. And it's to do with creating metal, producing metal, iron, iron metal out of blood. I bet that's his ability. And his stand name will be revealed next episode. So, yeah, we have two interesting characters. Like, Rizzo, we don't know much about him. We just know that he's the leader of the assassins, and he's been trying to get his, to do his darnest to destroy the head honcho. But also, he wants vengeance because almost all his comrades are dead. They're pretty much all dead. They send them after one by one after Jern on the ice, and they all died one by one. So he's probably just left now, and that sucks for him. But then again, this is the life. That's the mafia life, you know? You don't do things without consequences, and he's surely facing the consequences. But he himself, with a ability like that, can you just immediately kill someone just like that? If, if you do control people's blood and turn it into metal... You just either kill someone like that, like cut off their circuits within their body and just turn it to metal. I wonder how size of metal he can do. So far, like, he can only do small things like needles, nails, and razor blades. So I don't think he can do anything big like scissors or something. We'll see. We'll see. But right now, that was crazy. Man, I got, I'm got. still trying to comprehend this. Very interesting ability for an assassin, especially. And this entire episode has just been... Wow, so I need some time to think, actually, after this. So anyways, that's all I got for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying JoJo, and I hope you guys are also enjoying my content. If you did, help me out a little. Like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. Macron on Man May, sign out.